looks like a video game, right? Actually, what you see here is the cutting edge and stroke rehabilitation technology using virtual reality games and robotics. Michael Alloprantis suffered a stroke more than six months ago. He was fortunate to survive. He was also fortunate, however, to begin his rehabilitation at St. Joseph's Wayne Hospital. I was sitting at the kitchen table and my arm just fell off the table. And uh, I went to get up. My right leg was out also. And then I had the MRI confirmed. I had a stroke on the, on the right side, right side of the brain. He had problems moving fingers, okay, moving his individual fingers. He had a hard time opening his hands, and then he had a hard time moving one at a time from that opened position. He also had some problems with his shoulder, the active range of motion and the coordination of his shoulder movement. So to reach or to point at anything to move his arm through space, that was discoordinated and inaccurate. A trial of a robotics research study was and still is underway in the hospital's acute rehabilitation unit. The unit is working with Rutgers University and NJIT in a joint effort to learn how stroke patients can improve lost function using this new technology. We have 16 simulations available. Um, they're designed to each one address a specific area of hand or arm function, some of them the hand and arm working together. And generally we do six simulations in a one hour session, 10 minutes each. A stroke occurs when blood flow to the brain stops for longer than a few seconds. Part of the brain can die, affecting the body part it controls. Paralysis can occur along with language and vision problems, among other things. Starting rehab soon is key. It's important to intervene immediately after a patient has suffered from a stroke because the brain is already on a fast forward of reorganizing, identifying which areas it wants to abandon, which areas it wants to unmask. Um, so the brain is already ahead of us and we need to get ahead of that. Remember your left hand is controlling the right, good. So on the left over here, you're looking at the brain from the top. So here you have the left hemisphere and here you have the right hemisphere. And you see these patches of blue islands of activation that we can measure with uh, uh, fMRI, functional magnetic resonance imaging. So we can see before and after therapy which areas light up more than other areas. And we're interested in the areas particularly where the lesion has been because those after a stroke tend to be not active enough. And when they get more active, that improves the prognosis of recovery. Three weeks, three, three sessions a week for a month or whatever it was, and uh, really improved a lot. If I, I don't think if I ever came up here, I don't think I ever would have had my uh, mobility of my arm again.